Hi, this is Scott with Deep Green Garden Co-op. I'm making beehive frames today and putting them together. This is mostly a cautionary tale because uh, I recommend that you buy the components and then put them together um, rather than make all the components yourself. They're just really persnickety. Anyway, uh, I started with 2x10 lumber because it had less knots than the 2x6s. I'm trying to avoid the knots here. Um, and I'm cutting out various um, parts to length, uh, tops, bottoms, and two different sizes of sides uh, for deeps and uh, shallow supers. Uh, here I am cutting the tops to the proper height. Um, and I run through all of these to make 72 different tops. Three quarters of an inch. Oh, sorry, that's a half inch thick. And then, once I get all those through, then I have to run them through and trim them up so that they're the right width, which is like an inch and sixteen uh, hundredths, or sorry, sixteen one sixteenths. You can check out the plans at uh, bsource.com. Uh, the larger pieces here become the tops, the skinny pieces become the part that tacks on to hold the wax in place. Then I have to cut out little notches where the sides are going to attach to the tops and I'm doing them in groups of five because that's about all I can handle. And then I trim up uh, just a little bit off the bottom of the top where it actually sits on the frame so that the bees can't glue it down and make problems. I'm showing most of these videos at 20 times speed because making the components for 72 or 80 uh, different uh, frames would take forever. This was an entire day's worth of work. And here are those um, those little boards that tack on to hold the wax in place, cutting them over length, 17 inches. And now I'm cutting the bottom pieces, um, cutting them to the right width, and then I have to make a little jig, which you're going to see here in a minute. Um, each one of these larger chunks I cut into three different bottoms, which are they're three quarters of an inch by three eighths of an inch. And so I run them through and I get one uh, I get one off of here and then I'll run them through again after I readjust the size of the the plate there there you go and now I run them through and I get two more just checking the size so I end up with all the bottoms then you have to run a kerf through the middle of the bottom so that the wax can sit in the little bottoms so um, you can see I'm shooting out here. I'm running all 72 through here. Uh, all right. Then I got to cut out the sides, which are uh, five. Uh, what are they? Five and a half or so, and then nine, um, nine and an eighth or something like that. I forget the exact measurements. Again, check the plans. But I cut out all these little bits, which are going to become sides. Uh, I have the right width, and now I have to trim them a little um, narrower. So I made this little jig. It takes off like an eighth of an inch, and I run all. 72 through here again. Yeah, I know. And then I have to make this jig and that I run and cut uh, off the sides of each one of the frames just a little bit uh, near the bottom so that the bees can't glue it together. If you have straight sides all the way down, the bees glue it together and it's hard to take them apart. So yeah, I have to make this little jig. It works pretty well. Just run them left and right, taking an eighth of an inch off either side. That's fun times. All right, then I have to cut a notch out of the top and the bottom of all of these uh, frame sides so that when I put the frames together, they uh, have notches to marry together. All right, so those are all done. And here we go, watching The Simpsons, drinking some tea, eating some wasabi peas and putting them together. Again, I highly recommend buying the parts already made and then uh, putting them together. Although I say that now, now I have all the jigs made, maybe I'll keep make, making them myself. Anyway, uh, this is Scott again with uh, Deep Green Garden Co-op. Check us out on Facebook. Um, yeah, thanks a lot, and boy, am I tired. That was a long day, and I still didn't get them all put together, so that's going to be tomorrow. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Have a good one.